In this video, I want to do the H model. I'm not worried about non-constant growth or constant growth model. And when I start with the dividend, I'm just worried about the growth rate now. I'm not worried about the actual dividend. I'll do that at the end of the video. Well, the, the growth rate in year one is going to be the initial growth rate. Because it, it's always going to start, you know, in year one, it's going to be that, no question. In year two, that's when there's a question, are we now starting to step down or not? So I have an F statement. The F statement is going to say, is year two, is that less than or equal to my years of initial growth? I'm going to lock that down. Basically, I'm going to lock down everything in, C, in column C because that's not going to change. If that's true, that we're less than or equal to the years of initial growth, I'm still using the initial growth. So that's C6. If it's not true, I've started to step down. So I'm going to be at my starting point, my initial growth of 25%, minus, now how many steps have I taken? I've taken the year I'm in, minus the years of initial growth. That's the number of steps that I took, times my step size. Well, if I start out at 25, and I go down to 5, and it takes me three years, then that's going to be my step size. Close that parenthesis. Now I'm going to copy this over and you're going to see one thing that I've left out. Now note what happens. Three years of initial growth, that's great. 25, 25, 25, perfect. It needs to step down 18, 12, 5. Uh, by year 6 it's at 5, but then it starts to go negative. I'm going to put in different numbers here just to see everything's working out the way I want it to and I think this is the example we had three years 20% and 5% and look that looks perfect except it starts to go below 5% well we can't have that uh, I know this has to be at least 5% so I'm gonna tell Excel to make sure that's at least 5% so come back up here to the F statement and see how this is lit up value of true now I'm in value of false excuse me now I'm at the point where if this is not true if we're in the area where we're starting to step down I need to have a max statement and that max is going to be the value of the formula comma the 5% and I'm going to lock that down close print C close print C so you can see what's happened here and let me close one more print C Uh, I don't need the print C right there, put it in the wrong spot. I need the print C right here. There we go. Now we have the right number of print C's. And let me copy this across and I'll show you what's happening. So it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do 20, 20, 20 for three years, and 15, 10, 5, and 5 forever. Because what's happening with that max statement is saying it'll either give me, if this is not true, if we're in the false part, uh, so we're in the out years. Give me what the formula calculates, R5%, whichever one is greater. So now that I have this formula in, what's the dividend? Well, the dividend is a dividend in the prior year times 1 plus the growth rate. That's easy to see here in year 1. When year 2, the growth rate is this big, long if statement. So here we're going to have the dividend in the prior year times, open parenthesis, 1 plus, go all the way to the end, close that parenthesis, and now I'll copy this all the way over. And there are the dividends. At this point, I'm not going to do the terminal value, present value, and price because that's pretty easy from there. So that is the H model just by itself.